Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a cleanser in the shower to wash your face. And this is completely fine to do. And you either need to apply your cleanser on dry skin and then rinse it off with water or the directions will tell you use your cleanser on wet skin and then rinse it off with water. Either way, I'm going to show you both methods so that you can see it visually, especially if you're being a visual learner and then trying this at home. Now, I want to quickly emphasize that before you're going to grab your favorite cleanser and hop into the shower, please make sure to read the directions on the back of the packaging so that you know how you can properly use it. And this is also where I want to get into my first method. Now, the first method being, if the directions tell you, use your cleanser on dry skin and then rinse it off with water, which is most commonly um, being used if you're working with balm cleansers or oil cleansers, but you can also find it on other gentle cleansers. So it doesn't matter what cleanser you may have at home, what counts is that you're going to use it the correct way so it can help you to properly wash your face. And at the same time, please make sure that it does not irritate your skin nor dries out the skin. And so when working with such a cleanser, it is important that you're going to apply it on dry skin before you're going to wet your hair, face and body. So you either can already do this before getting into the shower or already in the shower. And in this example, I'm going to stick to a balm cleanser, which is the ordinary squalane cleanser, where they specifically tell me, basically, use it on dry skin. In that specific case, warm it up between your hands until it turns into an oil, since it is a balm cleanser, and then apply it to dry skin and then later on rinse it off with water. Now, the guide if you need to warm it up between your hands or not depends on the cleanser that you're using. So if a cleanser does not tell you this, then of course you can skip this part, but this won't change the step that you have to apply your cleanser on dry skin. Also make sure that you're going to read on the back of the packaging if you can use your cleanser around the eyes or on top of your eyelids, or if you should avoid it, which of course depends on the cleanser that you're using. And so again, once you're already in the shower or just before you're going to wet your hair, face and body, please make sure to take your cleanser, use about one to two pumps or about a coin size amount in the palm of your hand and then gently massage it onto dry skin for about 30 seconds to a minute. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm now going to melt it between my hands so that it turns into an oil. Again, if your cleanser does not mention this step in between, you can skip it and basically use it in the palm of your hands. Just use it between your hands a slightly bit and then immediately apply it to dry skin. So, and then you can go ahead and massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. So, and once you have massaged your cleanser onto dry skin all over your face and neck, then you now can go ahead and basically start off by wetting your hair, rinse off the cleanser and then move on to your body. And when now rinsing off your cleanser with water, you either can do this with your hands, which is completely fine and in most cases it is already enough, or if you prefer so, you can take a fresh and soft washcloth, which you can wet and you can use that one in the shower to remove the cleanser a bit better. Or if you usually used to um, use a washcloth anyway. So if that's your common habit, it's fine. Use either a washcloth or your hands to remove your cleanser. Just make sure that the washcloth that you're using is very soft and gentle on the skin. Now I'm going ahead and now rinsing it off with lukewarm water to warm water. I'm going to wet my hair and body anyway at the same time, but I'm going to keep my focus on my face only. So after you have rinsed off your cleanser, you then immediately would continue with washing your hair and body with your shampoo if that's what you usually do. So this would follow afterwards. And so now when taking water, just make sure it feels comfortable on the skin. And when working with balm or oil cleanser, I recommend using lukewarm water to warm water because this tends to remove the cleanser a bit better.
So, and once you're done with washing your hair, you have rinsed off your cleanser and washed your body, then you're basically done in the shower. The next step would be getting out of the shower, taking your toes, pat everything dry, and then if you have a skincare routine, then you can immediately move on to your skincare routine steps. And there you have it already on how you can use a cleanser in the shower if it has to be applied on dry skin and then later on rinsing it off with water. Now when it comes to method 2 and your cleanser has to be applied on wet skin and then it needs to be rinsed off with water, then you can immediately go ahead, grab your favorite cleanser, take it with you in the shower and start off by wetting your hair, face and body. And then I recommend if you're planning on washing your hair with shampoo, use at first your shampoo in your hair, wash it, rinse it out, then move on to your face, apply the cleanser, rinse it off and then move on to your body. So that you're basically washing everything from the top to the bottom. And as an example, when it comes to the cleanser that I'm going to use, I'm going to stick to the CeraVe's Foaming Cleanser, which is a great gentle cleanser. However, it can be any cleanser because the cleanser that you're using does not have to be specific for skin type and it does not have to be a gentle cleanser either. It can also be an exfoliating acid cleanser. So make sure that the cleanser that you're using works well for your skin type and needs so that it can help you to wash your face yet is very gentle on the skin and does the job by washing the skin and it should not irritate nor dry out the skin and when using your cleanser please make sure that you're going to read on the back of the packaging if you can use it around the eyes or if you should avoid it because then I recommend sticking to that specific guide. Now again the first step that I'm now going to do is wetting my hair face and body with lukewarm water to warm water so let's do this. Now if you're planning on washing your hair with shampoo, do this at first and then move on to your face. So go ahead and take your cleanser once you're done with your hair and then either use about one to two pumps or about a coin size amount of your cleanser, use it between your hands, blend it between your hands and then gently massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then gently massage it all over your face and neck. So, and once you're done with massaging your cleanser onto wet skin, you have evenly blended all over, then you now can go ahead and again rinse it off with lukewarm water to warm water. If again you prefer to use a soft washcloth in between, you can go ahead and do so and use that one to properly remove the cleanser from the skin. But again, you can also just use your hands, which is completely fine and can help you to remove the cleanser as well, especially when doing this under the shower. So, and once you are done in the shower, you have washed everything, you are ready to step out of the shower, then now go ahead and step out of the shower, take your toes, pat everything dry, and then if you have a skincare routine, then you can go ahead and immediately continue with the rest of your skincare routine since you have already washed your face in the shower. And this is what I wanted to share with you. This is how you can use your cleanser in the shower as well, which is again very convenient and can save you some time so that you can wash everything in one go. Now I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful and if you did so please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it and thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring! Bye!